Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we got a new video with, uh, Fu we're calling you Fun for Louis still? Or yeah, why not? We got Louis Cole here, uh, one of the legendary travel YouTubers. Hello. So today we're going to be talking travel advice. So a lot of people use like the excuse like, I can't travel, it's too expensive, or I gotta save up, and it's always like next year, next year. Do you, do you think that that's a good excuse? Well, like everything, there's like a spectrum. Obviously you can travel and spend a lot of money, but there's plenty of ways to travel and do it on a budget. I do think this last year has been hard to travel, obviously, and things are only just starting to open up again. But yeah, I think there's really clever ways to save money if you are not trying to spend much. Obviously flights are pretty expensive, but you can also find like really good deals if you book far ahead, and especially now when there's kind of less people traveling. And uh, yeah, railway passes are really good, yeah. one, especially in Europe. If you're traveling in Europe, you can get like a rail pass that will, you know, you can travel on as many times as you want all over Europe. And then another one I always say, and this is how I started traveling, was like finding friends to split the cost with and then road tripping. And then you're splitting the costs of like either renting the vehicle or paying for fuel. And then I always used to road trip in a minibus and we'd all sleep in the minibus as well to save money. So there's plenty of ways to do it cheap. Yeah, and I recently just started traveling every weekend. And one thing that you were telling me, cause I was kind of like, um, finding a place was kind of like, finding a place to sleep was kind of like an uh, issue for me so far. And um, there's hostels and then you're telling me about this website, right? Yeah, yeah, couch surfing. I would highly recommend, it's like people are vetted and then you can like, basically um, ask to stay with people because people like register as hosts on the site and then you can go and stay with them for free. So it's, yeah, even cheaper than hostels. Hostels can be really good and also a cool way to meet people, but yeah, couch surfing is. So that's kind of like the, the middle ground between Airbnb and a hostel, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's like a really good way to meet people in like San Francisco where I met Jesse, who was a local there. Um, he, he was able to show me places that I wouldn't have found on Google. I just thought of another one as well. Uh, you can't always do this, but I went to Rome once from, I, I used to live in the UK. I went to Rome once. The flight was really cheap because we like booked ahead and found like a cheap flight. And then we actually took a tent and we actually did urban camping in the middle of the city and just <laughs> slept in a tent in the, in the park, like behind some trees so no one could see us. You know, you might not want to do that, but that again, that was like our way of doing it cheap. I mean, there's, there's like, there's a lot of, like you said that you, you even slept on rooftops and Yeah, like you can that. be like, really inventive. Yeah, so there's like, again, that spectrum, like there's different levels of like adventure, yeah, adventure that you <laughs> want to, but it, it could be like a lot of really cool stories that you can tell. Um, a lot of it's like not traditional routes of like staying at, uh, at a resort or something like that, but sometimes you have a lot more fun not staying at a resort. Like uh, I used to go to Hawaii every year, and I nev we never really st stayed at a resort. It was just always like meeting up with people, like locals there, and them showing us around. And that that was like the best part. You don't want to pay all that money just to stay at a pool that you can go to in your hometown. Uh, Another one, actually. Sorry, this co this particular topic is uh, I feel like there's so much to talk about, but. Another one I did in Australia, firstly I hitchhiked, which I guess you, depending on where you are and how safe you feel, it could be a free way to travel. And then I also, I stayed in a hostel, but or it might have been a hotel actually, but it was, no it was a hostel. But I was basically working there to get a free meal and a free night stay, so I worked like four hours gardening and then in exchange I got like a free night and free meal. So that's again like another good option if you really have no money, there's places you can go to and work a few hours. Have you heard of those like farms? In yeah, like, yeah. In, yeah, in Hawaii, like you can like work on the farm in exchange for a, for a stay and you're like in the middle of like nature and stuff like that. Oh, what's it called? Whiffing. Whiffing? Whiffing. Wusaka! Fine! Whiffing, worldwide opportunities on a organic farms. So there's a website and you can look and there's Whiff, whiffing. That make it so hard. Farms all over the world where you can go and work there um, and you get free food and accommodation. Sometimes it's a lot of work from what I hear. I've never done it personally, but it, it could be fun. And it's that balance between paying yeah. like 300 bucks a night for a hotel or like, exactly. yeah. And then the next topic is like, why do you think people should travel more instead of like waiting like every other year or 
Well, it's interesting to me, like, coming from the UK and seeing how things happen in Europe, we're encouraged when we leave high school to take a gap year. And I don't know if that's the same in America. I don't think people are encouraged to do that. They're kind of encouraged to go straight into university. So, firstly, like, I feel like for me, it really personally opened my eyes to the rest of the world, helped me realize that my life experience and the way I do things is kind of like just one slim, like, narrow perspective. And yeah, I, there's a quote I often quote, it's um, that, Travel is the antidote to ignorance. And I think the more that we get to travel and see different cultures and meet different people, we just, it broadens our whole perspective. So no matter what you want to do in the future, I think getting to travel a bit is something I'd highly recommend for everyone because I think it just gives you a perspective that helps you in general and in life. And it gives you more empathy and compassion for people around the world. It helps you realize that we're all very much connected. And yeah, it's, it can be just such an epic adventure. You can just see the beauty of the world, see see this amazing planet we, we live in. And um, yeah, I think there's just so much more than the, than the small town or, or state that you grew up in. Absolutely. Like, um, I even think on, like, on a smaller scale, even like going on road trips with your friends, like mm. you said, or like, even taking a train. Like I remember I, I took my grandma and I trained to Santa Barbara and that was just like a really nice trip like a two hour train ride and you're away from your hometown and you're kind of like removing yourself from that mundane routine to kind of like just like it's almost like a uh, like a refresh that's what the, the little vacation a vacation doesn't mean going to Disneyland every single time it could be just like going over somewhere new that you normally wouldn't be in uh, your, your normal routine yeah I, I've definitely learned a lot from just traveling um, just even the past years with this new YouTube series I've been traveling alone and that's been new to me but that's something new that I, I will like like learn from and stuff My yeah, I, think, I think solo travel just quickly I'll interrupt solo travel for me like yeah I think in general I prefer traveling with friends but some of the trips where I did solo travel um, especially for longer maybe longer than a couple days but I it really helps you learn things about yourself and I feel like it forces you into meeting new people and I don't know, yeah, I, I think it's kind of, you want to experience both, but um, I think it would definitely help build your character. Like, yeah, so what, one thing, I, I have been like saying this in my vlogs that I really want to travel with friends and stuff. I, I just started traveling away myself, so it's, um, it's new to me, but I have been like just using this as like an opportunity to build my confidence. Like I've been talking to like people that I don't know, like just going to strangers saying, hey, do you request like, you recommend a good place to eat and then make a small talk from there and meeting some really nice people and just having really good conversations and making friends around you know around the world that's something that's really interesting and that's really pushing me to build up this confidence that I, have, I haven't really um, focused on and um, yeah and so this last um, this last section I want to ask you is just like what's your advice to like people who want to aspire to travel like you like wanted to like travel for like take a year off and just like traveling and that stuff. One thing that you and La you and Raya told me is like I went out. Just me and Louis used to live together at the beach house. If you guys haven't seen my videos before, and um, oh, we're kind of living together now. You're yeah, like, he's, he's my <laughs> honorary roommate whenever he's back in town. You guys said instead of getting a new place, why don't you just like instead of paying rent, why don't you just go out and travel, like put all your stuff in a storage unit and then like travel. And that, that was a really good option. I actually thought about that. Maybe still at some point. Yeah, that, that, yeah. I, I eventually want to like take a span of time and just travel a little bit. Um, but that that was one option. But what's some like other um, like like ways? Because like you know like we gotta we gotta pay our bills mm. and then how are we gonna like fund the, these trips? Even though that you can like travel like cost effectively and sustainably. Um, Still, if you're traveling, you're not always working your regular job. Mm -hmm. um, what, what is your advice on that? Well, I think there's two approaches. Either you work really hard doing something that hopefully you enjoy, but it's you know specifically to save a lot of money up, and then you can stop doing that and go traveling, which a lot of people do that. They save up to travel. Uh, or the other option, which is what me and my fiance Raya are doing now, and, and I have done for years, is finding something you can do whilst traveling. Now my, for, 
For me, it happened to be that I could actually make videos whilst traveling about traveling and it kind of was self-perpetuating, like helped me travel, helped me make an income. But it could be anything, it could be anything you can do remotely, which is like so much now, especially since the uh, pandemic, so many people are able to work remotely. So yeah, maybe you wanna, you know, either spend the morning doing some work on your computer or whatever, and then go out in the afternoons, or maybe like balance it so you're working part-time some days and getting to explore and travel the other days. But yeah, I feel like we're getting into a phase in society where like, it's less about being in a location working. Obviously there's still like specific retail or working in stores and restaurants and stuff, you kind of need to be in location, but there's so many other work opportunities now where you can do it remotely. And yeah, I feel like there's just something really cool about, I think they call them like digital nomads where you can work from anywhere. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think that's cool because then you don't have to worry about Oh no, my savings are going to run out, or I've only got this limited amount of, tra time, of time to travel. And I travelled non-stop for like six years before finding a home base, and then that lasted two and a half years, and then I'm off again. Yeah, and just to clarify, like you travelled before you did YouTube, like you, yeah, you did yeah. like all this before YouTube, and then when you, I like something that you said before is like one day I just like when YouTube was first starting and they started to pay, you're like, oh wait, this is my job now. Yeah, <laughs> but even yeah, even before YouTube, I used to travel and like bring my laptop and make websites and stuff uh, and graphic design and stuff whilst I was traveling. So that was, and then I'd have to walk, wait, I'd be like, uh, can, you, can you pay me for the website? Cause I'm like stranded, I have no money. And then like <laughs> wait for the money to come in. I'm like, cool, I can buy a hotel now. And, like. and our friend Tim, um, what you said about like just working like really hard and saving up yeah, so absolutely. that you can take some time off. Yeah, he, he was working at a grocery store and he's living in his van and now he's doing band life. That's what he wanted to do. And so he was working at the grocery store while that's he was another way to there. save bills as well right? yeah um, that's that's the other thing um is just look at like what you're spending and figure out how to like reduce the amount you're spending every month because i feel like you if you look at it really like a lot of those might be just luxury things that you can sacrifice in order to like save more money to go traveling yeah and uh tim he, he's started doing van life same time we moved into the beach house uh, September, uh last september and he saved up enough and he just put in his two weeks to where he can, he's gonna just start road tripping for the summer at least. And then, yeah, I save up as much money, like kind of calculate like how much money you would need for that span of time. And if that's something that you wanna do, you wanna travel, take a break and like kind of be with yourself or travel with friends, um, kind of like, just like plan that out and then work towards that, like put money aside for that, like just budget towards that. I think that's like something you can do if you want to travel for that amount of time or take a take time away, and that 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 could even be for like two weeks if you want to do, take yourself on a vacation. Like maybe you could do it every other month, take yourself like on a weekend adventure, like like what I'm doing. Um, yeah, just put money aside, and uh, I would say uh, that's a good investment just to kind of like um, relax your mind and and escape that normal routine. Absolutely. But yeah, that was uh, today's video. Uh, if you want to see more travel vlogs, we're both doing travel vlogs. He's living in a school bus now. If you want to check out his new channel with uh, his, his couple channel, Ryan and Louis. And then he's doing some pretty cool tech stuff on his main channel. Uh, he just built the electric van. And what's next? I'm going to do a whole whole mini series that Justin's helping me edit on like building out the whole roof rack and decking on top of the school bus before we left. Yeah, I was, his, I was his first guest on the school bus and it's it's not an ordinary school bus. Yeah, it's <laughs> fun, it's fun. Yeah, well if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, subscribe to Louis' channels, all the links will be down in the description, and turn on the notifications and... And comment other places you want Justin to visit <laughs> on his adventures because there's like so many amazing places and maybe you want to host him, maybe you want to meet him in your hometown and show him around, show him the sites, show him the hidden gems. Yeah, yeah, comment below. Every single weekend, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.